realized that we were not filming this whole time and I'm already almost done. So to recap of what we're doing, we're really, um, this video is more about prepping ahead for your holiday get together. So the stress has taken off. I have a party that I am bringing all the food for tomorrow and it's in the middle of the day. So it's lunch. Um, and I need to prep as much today as possible because from the time I get up till 1230, we're going to leave here at, by 12. It doesn't leave me a whole lot of time to prep things in the morning. So we want to go ahead and do as much today as we can. I've already made two dips. I made a gingerbread um, dip for sweet for for apple slices and graham crackers. I also made an onion, um, a cottage cheese onion dip that is a family recipe and that's in there. And those spices that are in there need to bloom. And so anytime you add dried spices, they should sit for a while before you eat them. So I come over here, I put in about two bricks of cream cheese out of my tub. You want at least two bricks of cream cheese for this recipe. And this is a buffalo chicken dip. And you, uh, you want about four ounces of crumbled blue cheese, one cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, mm -hmm. getting a hint there, about half a cup of a really good quality blue cheese dressing. Don't use ranch, you need the blue cheese. And one pint jar of home canned chicken. And I had another one sitting here waiting just in case I thought I needed it, but I don't think I do. So I'm just going to stick with the pint. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, now these were canned um, almost two years ago. It'll be two years in March. They're absolutely delicious. I had a, a chicken casserole the other night that was um, made from this. And I do not raw pack my chicken. So I'm going to get on a canning thing here for a second to let you know. Those of you that have raw packed canned chicken and you open it and you go huh that could be tuna fish or you taste it and go huh that could be albacore tuna if you par cook your chicken it will not taste like that it will taste like delicious chicken so it's a must in my book to par cook your meats to get the real flavor of what they really are and not get an off flavor so just my helpful hint. You'll enjoy your canned chicken much more. Now, I drained off all of its broth, and you can save this for soup, or you can do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna treat my dogs. I'm gonna soak their kibble in it. Okay, so now we're at the point where I mixed it with the, the mixer. I even, after I put the chicken in, that was my last step, I, um, I went ahead and let the mixer shred the chicken. So it's, it's really well distributed. And I'm gonna fold in my two cups of Monterey Jack. And you could use cheddar. Cheddar tends to be a little oily um, for this dip. Uh, I like the, I like a little bit sometimes, but the Monterey Jack really has a sharp bite to it. So you get that same sharp flavor. Now I'm just folding that in. Doesn't have to be exact. And how easy is this? And another dip, and I'll plug this in in the morning. And I'm gonna put it in this two and a half quart oval um, casserole uh, crock pot. I bought these on Amazon, and then I went, and, because I was impatient, and went to Walmart and bought them, and then I had two sets, <laughs> and I had to send the Amazon ones back. That's okay. Anyways, um, they came in perfect for Thanksgiving to just make my day so much easier. And it's gonna make my life way easier right now. So we're gonna take the crock out of it. And I'll leave a link to these. They're, they're really nice for side dishes or hot dips. Um, I'll be hosting a Christmas Eve party and we're gonna do hors d'oeuvre night. And so I will have a spread and I'll be using both the ones. I have two of these and a big nine by 13, so. Okay, let's do the dip in the crock. Now, sometimes, you know, you bake these and you, you can get it brown on top and you can do that, but trust me when I tell you, it's just as good this way. And it's, it's you're not taking up the oven space and, and then how do you keep it warm? Is, you know, this way it'll stay warm 
the whole time. I can just heat it up, and then once it's heated through, set it on warm and don't worry about it. Okay. Hmm. I better. Ooh, that's good. It's gonna be spicy. Not too bad though. Okay. Just get it all spread in there, nice and nice and neat. And there you go. That's as easy as it is. And tomorrow, um, when it's all done, I will sprinkle a little bit of um, red pepper flakes on top to show that it's going to be hot and maybe a little bit of parsley for some green but that's really all I do and there you go quick and easy buffalo chicken dip and it's going to be good I wish I could bring you along for that party and I might maybe I'll get the video camera out I don't know it's hard for me to do that when I'm so focused on family so there you go. How pretty. All right, guys, I'm going to get a picture of this and um, I, better, I better have a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Really, really good. All right. All right. So I hope this inspires you to try this way of doing things. Get ready and prep your stuff ahead so it takes the pressure off of you when the big day is here and. Um, You've got time to spend with family or friends or whoever you're hanging out with for your next get together. This is a perfect holiday day. All right. I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe and or helpful hint.